shoes I'm dropping Find a quarter You be wealthy See many niggas switching Make one I'm taking a selfie you Shout out to Lori Banks man Fire Another episode dope DJ S Y already know what it is man Hit the like Subscribe Let me know what y'all think Alright Quick tranquil blog It's been a minute I've been working hard Got my two jobs and shit Trying to make sure I'm lining everything up The right way To do this music thing Alright Y'all stay tuned for that But let's get to this Weekly Recap Slash opinion I'm gonna talk about A couple things real fast Real real quick Let's go here first. Shout out to RBE. Shout out to ARP Wing. The whole team. Another drop. Another drop. Young Ill versus the Saga. The Saga's debut on RBE, if I'm not mistaken. This is an alright battle. This is an alright battle. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. One thing I will say though. I don't view it the same way I heard people saying it initially when it happened. I don't view it that way at all. I gotta keep it tall. Shout out to Young Ill. I said this a hundred times already. Not a hundred times, but I said this a lot. Young Ill was in my top five when he battled DNA, when he battled Rich Dollars. Same era around even when he battled Surf. Young Ill is fire to me. Can't say he's back yet. Gotta keep it tall. But he was good here. This is a good battle. This is a good battle. Saga went first. Saga had a good round. I like some of the shit that Saga was seeing in that round. His first was solid. Solid first. Young Ill, his first round, maybe a little bit more potent, but I still didn't feel like it was that super duper crazy. But he definitely was wilding a little bit. Definitely was wilding a little bit. The second round, though, I feel like Saga turned up on him a little bit. I feel like Saga turned up on him a little bit, and Saga started going. I ain't gonna front. Saga had some shit. Saga definitely had some shit in that second. Young L second was cool. It was cool. So I'm checking for this third to be one of them rounds where, okay, I can say, yeah, you know what? L is at minimum a good ways better than what he was against Big K. Saga turns in a solid third, a good third. His angle wasn't too crazy to me, but it was good. It wasn't bad. Young L goes, he had a solid round too. To me, this battle is kind of like a 2-1 either way. It wasn't what I expected, but it wasn't bad either. As I said, it was a good battle, but... So what the reports were saying, Ill was wilding and Ill 3-0. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Low-key, I don't know if Young Ill even won this battle, much less a 3-0. I ain't going front. He had some shit and he had a couple moments. But bar for bar potency, Saga was better. He had better material overall. His punches were a lot harder, in my opinion. If anything, this battle's a 2 1 either way. And I might edge this battle to Saga low key. I ain't gonna front. I do like the energy that Young Yo had. I like the fact he was turning up. I like that. But the material wasn't super crazy to me. But he was good. I personally think it's a 2-1 either way, however you call it, however you prefer. I ain't mad at it, but for me personally, I think it's just 2-1 either way. But if I had to pick somebody, I might edge it to Saga. That's just my personal opinion. But shout out to Ill. He's here, but he ain't fully back yet. He here, though. He's here. But I can't say that's the ice pack that we know. He's in the... I wouldn't say over. Oh, pretty much he's overall in that one cadence and flow the whole pretty much time. The ill that we know, knew how to use from. I wouldn't say 
always trying to be funny, but he knew how to be funny. He knew how to have jokes in there and all that type of shit. We're not getting that yet. We're not getting that yet. Using props against DNA. We ain't getting that. Stanky Yankee and all that. We ain't getting all that. Young Yo used to be able to do it all. He had the bars, he had the energy, the aggression, and he still was witty and every. He's here, but he ain't fully back yet. That's I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. But shout out to Young Yo. I've been a fan of Ice Pack. Been a huge fan of that. Huge fan of Ice Pack and that whole Fly Fam shit. That name is fire to me. Fly Fam. That's a hard name. But anyway, let's get to this. Wody. Shout out to Saga. Shout out to Young Yo. Shout out to RBE. Good battle. May have Saga though. But let's get to this real fast. Wody. Woman of the Year. Not mad at how they picked it. Not mad at how they picked it. We'll get to that in a second. Let me get to this though. That whole thing that was going on floating with Shuni and Lo about choking. Let's put them to a side. Let's just talk about choking. Let's remember, Newborn was dope. Always was, had some ball. He was always good with punches. We already know that. He could punch. He has bars. Newborn is actually fire. I think we all know that too. What held him back? What stopped him? What was the thing that we kept throwing at him all the time? Choking Choking Is never good Nowadays Okay More acceptable Still not good But more acceptable As in You can win a battle And choke You can gain back the momentum If you're choking around You can gain back the momentum The next round Lux may have A win With the choke and he may have one of the best performances of all time Just because of how he's performing If he didn't choke, it'd be the same thing It's just the way he did it with that suit Hand in the pocket It's, it's classic It's classic Timeless classic and He may have won that battle Regardless of if he choked or not Right? We all, we'll, we'll, we'll take that one We'll accept that one Here's the difference though he didn't take seven other battles or six other battles the same year and then choke in four or five of them. See, at, right after this one. I think that's where the argument really lies. The amount. Five out of seven is crazy. Had Lux took six other battles and choked four or five more times, we would have been like, get this nigga the fuck out of here. We love you to death, but this this is not good. Maybe now we have like slightly different. But originally, initially in this comeback or from back in the day, we won't have we won't have that. We seen what happened to Miles with this joke. One of the biggest bodies ever. Due to him yoking up. He cut his round shorts to a dust. He choked all three. That's how I remember it. I don't know how y'all remember it. I remember Miles choking all three of them shits. I remember him getting through one full long length round. Choking always meant something. It's always gonna mean something. More acceptable now, as I said, but I'm not mad at the let's put this on the center point and talk about this. And how are we gonna how do you reward somebody? Or give them something. Or award them in any way. For choking that much. Not just choking. That much. I think that's the argument. Not the fact that someone chokes. This five out of seven is crazy. I think they tried to demean it as in just choking. As opposed to not looking at it from. Yo that's five out of seven. The fuck y'all talking about? It's just a, that's how I saw it. Nobody was really looking at it from the perspective that low was putting it five out of seven. Five out of seven. That means you only had two battles that you didn't. That's bad to me. 
Look at it like that. That means you only had two battles out of all of them that you didn't choke in. That's crazy. But that's that. I agree on that perspective. Was it a little bit excessive and all that? I would say more passionate, more than excessive. I'm not mad at it at all. Shout out to Lo. But um, let's get to this though. The top three. The top three. And I mean all that choking stuff just to say, highlight that next time if possible. And she's actually right. She's not wrong for that. The dude, whoever was there, kind of downplaying it. Eh, I don't know what type of time he was on. But anyway, shout out to him. Top three, though. The top three is the same way I had my top three, so I wasn't mad at it. Not much to really talk about here, except for one thing. Jazz at number three is a no-no. Now, I can see... As I said, my top is the same way. It's coffee, jazz, and hustle. If you guys want to say hustle, the, the Wody, I'm not mad at that because I had jazz and hustle back and forth. So whoever you choose right there, I'm not mad at that. I, ja I personally had jazz. Me personally, I had jazz. But I'm not mad at hustle. Hustle had a fucking hell of a year, hell of a resume. She's about top tier niggas. Rock, arts. And she was cooking, right? Can't take nothing away from Hustle. Hustle is one of the mumas, as I said, right? So them two could be interchangeable to me, in my personal opinion. Two and three, though? Not necessarily. I understand where y'all coming from. You know, people, they travel. That's a good thing. You were at different leagues. That's a good thing. I salute it. I do salute it. But I'm not going to put that over what Jazz was doing. With no disrespect. Because Coffee even came over to my place. Shout out to her for coming here. And battle, I think it was Grid. Right? No disrespect to Grid. Grid is not Loso, Clips, Twerk. None of the niggas. Not even close. So just because you flew somewhere to battle a guy named Gemini who's a top guy over there. And I'm not going to say Big Fish Small Pond Because that's still the UK And it's big over there Shawty is big But Him He's not even Clips Twerk He's not none of them niggas He may be a vet Or whatever the case may be But he ain't no clips And he ain't no twerk And none of them niggas We all know that So it's hard to sell that In my personal opinion I see where they are coming from But that's a hard sell for me that's a hard sell for me. I don't think I could line that up, okay, because you went somewhere, but you still only battled him. She might have stayed home, but guess what? She battled Loso when she was here. She battled Twerk when she was here. She battled Clips when she was here. She battled, you know what I'm saying? It's different. Big K and all them. Her resume is crazy, and she arguably did not lose. Arguably did not lose. Someone could debate her winning all six of them shits. All of them. I don't got to be in the rum. But she was wilding. She was dumping. And that's a dope battle. That whole jazz battling her friends and shit. Okay, her friends weren't playing. If that's the case, the only person I thought was playing really might have been Clips. I think Clips was the only one that was playing. And y'all know what clips do. But I'm not mad at how you pick the, 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 the Woody. I'm not mad at Hustle being the Woody. But coffee over jazz? Nah. Not in my opinion. Not in my opinion at all. I think the whole culture knows that 2023 was between jazz and hustle. I think that's a general consensus. And they don't have enough battles for someone to say, oh, you didn't see them all. Sh nigga, that's not enough. You think they didn't have 45 battles, nigga? These two women only had like about 10, 12 battles. Yeah, we saw them all. But at the end of the day, I'm not mad at it. But jazz over coffee, in my personal opinion. 
if you're gonna put her outside of the Wodi itself. Second is the least she could go, in my personal opinion. Third, nah. The years between them two, though, we already know that. But that's just my personal opinion, though. They still did not get it wrong as far as the champion. Shout out to Hustle. Well deserved. She worked for it. She was cooking all year. Her and Jazz was cooking all year, so I'm not mad at it. All right? But that's just my personal opinion. Shout out to Jazz. Shout out to Hustle. Shout out to Coffee. Still, both all three of them was in my, my top three. So I'm not mad. But I just disagree with Jazz being at number three. Jazz is number one or number two. Point blank period and number one for me. But I ain't mad at Hustle for being one. I ain't mad at that at all. But that's just my opinion, man. DJ, I already know what it is, man. Hit the sub, like. Let me know what y'all think, all right? One.